All right, so the point behind this right here in Act 3 is to get enough, like get the million to one odds needed uh, to defeat the dragon. So, of course, I need a... So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I had a birthmark, and if I recited a magic spell, and if I was wearing a black mask? Now, let me see. I reckon that would be 375,000 to 1. In the book, Guards, Guards, they actually uh, <laughs> go into all kinds of various poses to figure out the odds of defeating the dragon. Look, I haven't done anything to you. Why don't you just leave me alone? Well, I'm I'm a guard, sir. A guard has to 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 what? Well, well, to guard, sir. I mean, we have to watch out for theft, sir. Does it have to involve harassing me? Well, you are the potential suspect, sir. Why do I have to be a suspect? Couldn't I be well, stock in trade? Stock in trade? Well, instead of harassing me, you could just take a quick look every now and then to make sure I haven't been stolen. Good thinking, sir. If you are ever stolen, I shall report it to you at once. <laughs> yeah, Carrot wasn't really that dumb in the book. I think your commander wants you to fall in. Right you are, sir. So, you're uh, uh, a... Uh, a dwarf, sir. That's right. Don't let the height fool you. Look, I haven't done anything. Will you stop trying to arrest me? You haven't done anything? No. Nothing at all? Absolutely not. Right, that's vagrancy, that is. Under Article 7, subparagraphs 3 and 4, I must ask you to accompany me down to the watch house. And then what? Um, ah, uh, yeah, well, the book didn't quite go into punishment. Uh, only arrest. So, is this the watch house? Uh, yes. Right, well, then I'll accompany you there. Is that all right? Um, yes, yes, I suppose so. Well, I've certainly been taught a lesson. Well, I'll just move on. As I remember, I'm hoping that I don't have to bring up the uh, walkthrough like I did last time. I just had to do things as I remember them. That doesn't work. Make money in your spare time. Apply to Ankmore Pork City Mint, Outworkers Department. Coffin for sale. One owner only. Low mileage. Apply after dark to Baron Not Far Outo. Elm Street. It's a man's life in the city watch. Vacancies for trolls, dwarves, gnomes and undead. Be a man in the city watch. It's him. M -m old, um, old, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, the hero. Him? A hero? I still say you're wrong. It's hundreds to one that a little wimp like him could take out a dragon. Where's your friend gone now? Slumming. What, is that him in the grave? He's only shamming. Wants to see who turns up with flowers. Look, I really think you ought to call a doctor or something. I think he might be quite ill. No, don't play along with it. It'll only encourage him. As heroes, I mean real bona fide heroes, don't you think there's something useful you should do? Do? Are we invited to a do? Mm, oh, do. Take action. <laughs> Fight against oppression, that sort of thing. Long time since I last went to a do. There was custard, I remember. And sausages on pearls. No. I mean, shouldn't... Shouldn't we all band together against the dragon? A band? Are they having a band as well? Canopies. That's what they call them. Stuck in a pineapple. Very cultured. I wonder if we're invited. Uh, what can you tell me not. about heroes? Heroes? Can we tell you about heroes or what? Yes, indeedy. Can we what? What? Tell him about heroes. Oh, oh yes, yes. Heroes. Yes. Well, the first thing your potential hero must do is look right. Can't have shoddy looking heroes, can we? No, indeedy. No. The most important thing for your aspiring hero 
his opposing pouch, traps the thing for attracting young maidens. Yes, indeedy, oh, indeedy me. The bigger, the better. That's what I always say. Just ignore him. <laughs> that guy on the on the far right might need to take a breath. I really more do often. think we ought to get organised about this dragon. Quite right. Absolutely. But I told him you won't find one around here. The city's built on loam, you see. You've got to go up to the mountains to find them. Find what? What, what are you talking about this time? Uh, rocks. Uh, you, you need a rock. A rock and some bombs. Or stocks. I've got some 10% stocks in a company somewhere. Can't say I want a dragon to eat them, though. Yeah, no sharecropping here. A virgin tied to a rock with bonds. You have to have it. It's tradition. Why is tradition so important? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Uh, because uh, human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Uh, because uh, human beings... I'll give in. You've got more practice at this than me. Oh, you don't get to my age without being open to old ideas. Open to old ideas. I should make... I need to write that down. Piece of paper. <laughs> Uh, okay, this will do. Pen. Got a pen. <laughs> Writing this down. Open to... Hold. <laughs> Ideas. That'll be the title of this video. <laughs> oh, excuse me. The art of signposting is apparently long, long dead. Sweetie doll. Hey, so good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up. Good feeling. Oh, this is terrible. Next, if I need a monkey, I'll let you know. I didn't think trolls could grow facial hair. Hello again. You're the troll, right? Flint. Eh? My name's Flint. My manager picked it for me. He thought it was more suave name for the clickies. If you want to audition these days, you got to be suave. Ah, pieces of eight, pieces of eight. Look, I am your father. It's not got any better, has it? Not really, but just think of all the savings they could make on hiring extras. What sort of role are you looking for? A hero. That's why I've grown the moustache. You have to have a black moustache if you're going to be a hero. That moustache is made out of lichen, isn't it? Well, I was in a hurry. Anyway, I don't grow beard bits very well. Ah, interesting change in dress sense. I have absolutely no... Attack of the 50-foot dwarf! Baby, sweetie doll! Hey, so good to see you. Now sit... <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> is that Mr. Pesto over there? <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> I really shouldn't say too much about that show that I, that I don't listen to. <laughs> Rizwin, baby, sweetie, who's better than you? No one, that's who. <laughs> hey, uh, bear name on the other line. Hey, let me, let me page Murray for you. Nice strong rubber belt, that. That doesn't work. I don't think... Oh, see. I might need the scissors to cut that. I know I need that. It's an egg. You know, I'm ever so grateful I took that course in object recognition.
that does uh, I don't know what I need the snake for, but I know I need it. Nice of someone to just put stuff out there for me to, um... I'm just kind of like talking to everybody. Have you ever thought of using this virginity thing as an advantage? Eh? Oh, as a virgin, I mean. Have you ever thought about the career possibilities of being, say, for instance, tied to a rock? Oh, um, well, uh, <laughs> I don't actually qualify anymore. What? Did someone finally best you in combat? Um, at Tiddlywinks, actually. Tiddlywinks? Well, the goddess and me, we finally reached this understanding. Oh, blast! And I'm good at tiddlywinks. <laughs> oh, it's like that episode of Dragon Maid where, uh, the Takayama wanted to get rid of Fafnir. <laughs> and eventually Fafnir said, oh, I'll fight you at your level. Fight to fight. And they start playing video so games. So what's up in the mayhem department today? Well, funny you should say that. Business is taking a very odd turn. Hmm? I did what you said, issued certificates of lustful intent, and it worked quite well. But then some fellows began transferring them. You know, saying I couldn't hit them because they'd passed the certificate on to someone else. Turns out they were cancelling people's debts if they took the note off their hands as a favour. I've had to get all formal now, stipulate the meaning of the notes in full. The issuer promises to redeem this note for one punch in the face. That sort of thing. Yeah, that's the one. I'm thinking of calling them pound notes. You seem a likely candidate to ask. What do you know about heroes? Heroes? Well, let me see. I think I killed a few the other day. Well, I say I killed, I just do the holes. They usually die all by themselves. No point blaming me. Well, about these heroes? Always muscular types. Always got moustaches. Moustaches, eh? Oh, yeah. But your real hero, your actual predestined hero, he's usually got the marks of some kind of destiny actually on him. What? You mean he comes born with him or something? Well, there's your birthmark, you know, marking him as a hidden heir to the throne. Then there's the magical sword left in the stepfather's keeping. A magical sword, eh? Well, you can always tell a real hero. They have a sword that goes ting. Ting? Yes, it's all part of the act. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I forgot to um, have April track the mouse. Look, I'd really appreciate some help with this rotten dragon. You don't think you could like... Yes? Help? I mean, if, if it's not too much trouble, pardon me for asking and all. Well, I don't really think I can. Oh, look, why, for Offler's sake? Well, it's the flames, you see. The goddess Mothra kind of requires us to dance around them and then smack our heads against the wall. It's a very well-regarded ritual. Oh, really? Yeah. What with the dragon flame aspect of things, I can't see as I'd be much help. Look, don't they have any other gods out there in the hublands that you can worship? Well, there is Frigamum, the snow god. Fine. Well, why don't you switch to worshipping him, then? What? Would you want to walk around in the frost in this outfit? You have a point there, you know. Possibly too. I forgot the, uh, the, the punch well. sound. And, and the ding, 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 ding sound. I have absolutely no... Ah, background colour. Gad, but there's no expense spared in this place. I have had... Oh, I was supposed to be able to get a, like a tattoo from him. So now I know about mustaches and posing pouches. When would I get here now? Hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah. Let's see now. It's... Blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right? No. Hey, you didn't say Simon Says. Oh. Simon Says. Okay. Welcome, oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. 
And I got a custard pie for that. I think I used this to uh, throw at somebody. Or maybe I eat that. Um, kind of lost right now. Haven't grabbed up any objects in a while. Arms for the... Oh, no! I do have status now, sir. Is it helping business? Oh, yes, sir. The money's just rolling in. Aren't you afraid someone will take it? No, sir. No one would attack an unarmed man. You're a loony. Oh, for heaven's sake. How did you get the second arm off? Wasn't easy, sir. Wasn't easy? It's a damn miracle. That's not quite what I meant. But, sir, there's a fortune to be made in the limb loss market these days. How? It saves on housing, sir. I don't need high ceilings anymore. You don't need doorknobs either. There you are, sir. Now you're getting the idea. Look, just don't cut anything else off. Um, well, actually, sir... I just don't want to hear about it. Right, you are, then. Extractors, drills, needles. Diploma from the Academy... Any sort of appointment book. Nice big pages, though. Well, you take everything Funny you sort see. Of appoint Just take everything you see. That's it. See what the fishmonger has for me today. Well, if times ever get hard, at least he can masquerade as one of the stock. Hi, Babs. Why even have him there? What's this then? For a nice time, eat well, drink happily, and find an amusing and rewarding occupation on a sunny day. Oh, that's the, uh... I move on out, Wind to Wind. Oh, oh. I was grabbing the side of the screen. Uh, let's go here just in case. Oh, looks like it's all pretty close to me. Yes, a fairly eclectic collection. Can't say as I approve of modern toys. That doesn't... What an extraordinary person. Greeting, shopkeeper. Good day. Can I enter? There's today's special. And or there's violent war. Hey, it, I'm sure. The brothers of evil. Are you all right? Pardon? Uh, so, can I help you at all? Oh, just browsing. Browsing? Yes. Not... Definitely not. No. Oh. That's all they could think of, and that's. I know I gotta go talk to um. Gaspode. I think he's in this area here. I haven't been to the university yet or the palace. something lurking behind it. Who's there? <laughs> Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Look, there is someone there. I can see bits of you poking out behind the door. What are you doing back there? Go away. I'm the bogeyman. Really? I'll give you a fright you'll never forget. Look, just come out from behind the door. I... I can't. I'm afraid of open spaces. An agoraphobic bogeyman? Lay off. It's no fun being a legendary figure of terror. What does a bogeyman do, anyway? It's quite a hard job being a traditional figure of terror. Long hours and no real holidays. Really? Well, 
There's the that good sounds side like my job. too. There's your place in folk tale and legend. And you're your own boss. Get out from behind that door. I want my mum. So, um, what does a bogeyman do, actually? We have oh, a highly okay. valued traditional community role. What, frightening children into eating their greens? Serving as formless objects of folk terror, that sort of thing? Yes. Yes, that's it. Then there's your special commissions. One time, these wizards tried locking a cat inside a box and opening it up every now and then to see whether the cat had died. My father frightened one of the old geezers to death when he jumped out of the box instead. I think I've heard of that. It added an extra complication to the principle of uncertainty. Made random chance seem a bit more random than anyone supposed. It was all death's doing, of course. A subcontract job. I thought wizards were supposed to be taken by death himself. You're not really a bogeyman. I am too. Go on, let's see you then. I'll come out. I'll come out and you'll get such a shock. All right then. All right what? All right, come out and scare me. Well, you're ready for it now. I mean, it's not a shock if you're expecting it. So, you're saying your effectiveness as a legendary <sighs> figure of terror is entirely due to my not knowing exactly what you are or when you will appear. Um, well, maybe. In which case, you should change your name to something more appealing, you know, to heighten the shock effect. Such as... Cyril. Cyril? That's no name for a bogeyman. Heightens the surprise effect, though. You're right there. Hmm. Cyril the bogeyman. Coming out from behind the door now? No. The, um, I will need the bogeyman to scare some mice. It's a metaphor. Not a door. Look at you, a metaphor kid. for my own insecurity. You see, not only does it provide a screen between myself and the outside world, but it is also a portal, an openable space, implying the possibility of future liberation from my phobia. Quite a powerful image, really. Oh, stop sniveling. I thought you were a grown monster. Whatever would your mother say? Mother! Oh, Mother! My mother would never take me to the zoo, you know. Really? Did you get a lie on a couch, by the way? Oh, no. The door's quite comfortable, thank you. Anyway, I asked her, and she'd never take me. Have you ever thought of seeing a psychiatricist about this problem? Oh, no. I mean, that's for sick people. Yes, quite. Tell me about your mother. Well... The zoo's important to a young bogeyman, you know. All part of a basic education. It's not easy scaring people, you see. Takes a lifetime of dedication. You have to start small and kind of work up to human beings. As in, terrify some lower orders of life, then shift up to people once you've got the neck. That's it. That's what you have to do. Yeah. Well... Who's there? Hello. Look, what are you doing? Girl. Really? I'll look. I an agoraphobic. What? It really? Well, there's get out. I. Well. You think I gotta go talk to the mice for whatever Smells a bit reason? That. D Is there anything new to get down here? Did something we paused right before the door for some weird reason. There's a gas boat, a sailor. You gotta walk all the way around the tree just to talk to the guy who's like a foot away. A generic barman. They must be breeding the blighters in a vat. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? My twin brother runs the mended drum. Oh, good looks must run in a family. Thank heavens, it's a tattoo. I thought it looked a bit flashy just for a birthmark. Nope! 
Greetings, noble nautical person. Yeah, what do you want? Give us a kiss, then. What? I didn't mean to. Mr. Wizard wants a spanking. Help! Got the gear, got the gear. Are you looking for trouble? No, 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 it's not me. I'm not the one who's... Why don't you give the dog a bone, you great tattooed matalo? <laughs> Help! Did anyone get the number of that donkey cart? Here, doggy, doggy, dog. Very suspicious looking dog, that. What an odd expression. Very wooden. Have you heard about my dog? Gaspo, the wonder dog. Oh, go drink a gottle of gear. Oh, my dog. My wonderful dog. A beautiful dog it is indeed. Beautiful. Care for a gottle of gear? So, I need to shut Gaspoed up. I need a bone. He said he needed a bone. I don't have one. We can find in the, um... L space is closed. Actually, on um, he is We're going through this again. Lovely weather. Ooh. Well, it, it, ooh. Oh God! Oh, for cat, cat. Whoa! Uh, no, cat. Oh, don't rush me. Cats and. Cats and, uh, Ooh. dogs. That's it, dogs. <laughs> you know, I bet you thought I was never going to make it through that without saying monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Look, haven't you got a comb or something? Ooh. Well, I mean, if you are going to insist on running a major library, you should try to smarten yourself up a bit. You know, ape your betters. Ooh. No. You can't catch me out there. I was too smart for you that time. I said ape, not monkey. Oh, blast! Did you get the number? This seems like... Now, where do I go get a bone at? Oh, okay, I remember now. I don't think there's anything new in here. I remember where I get the bone. That is in the dungeon. Yeah, I'm just kind of wandering around trying to figure out what the hell. Oh, spatula! No, I just can't figure out what the hell do I need the spatula for? And I think I need to get the camera from the... From the, uh, alchemist, too. There's the... That's <sighs> my dog. I think I do have to grab the horn at some point, or I have to grab that staff again. Oh, that's right, I need, I need the bird. Yeah, just to get to the tattoo, just to talk to the sailor, I gotta blast the bird. That does... This hat is certainly more impressive than mine. Hey, there's something inside. That is sure why I need a rabbit in the hat. So I'm kind of remembering these things from the last time I played through the game, which was about well over 20 years ago. You know, the, um, 
The university looks so much bigger from the front than it does the back. Okay, do I go to the drum? About 30 minutes in here, so I'll send her a rinse wind. And wait a few seconds. That's about long enough right there. Good night, everybody.